Oh, come on, we need to take that out. Oh, crap. That is a feral. Oh, god damn it. Fucking thing. Hello everyone, my name is Sick. Welcome back to State of Decay 2. We are continuing our update 33 playthrough here. And before we continue, I would like to ask you to please do leave a like and a comment below because it really does help the channel. It helps people find me because comments and things like that are what drive YouTube's algorithm and makes this content pop up for more people. So that would be really greatly appreciated if you could do so. Um, yeah, let's have a look. We have some infestations that we need to deal with. The level two infestations even. We have a significant number of problems as a result. Uh, all of our people are injured. So none of that is great. This guy in particular got beaten up like crazy. She got hurt quite significantly. He is very low in uh, low on health as well. Derek is doing okay. And Justice is the character that we are playing. So Derek is the one we are going to need to take along here because I will not take these things on by myself. Uh, is that him up in that tower? I think so. Yeah, we definitely need to... Uh, need to take out those infestations and I'm not doing that by myself because we will get into trouble really really fast so uh, yeah let's actually get off the other side and let's get driving thinking about it though I should probably craft some molotovs we do not have power so I don't think we can do anything with that um, but yeah I think we need to take out at least some of these plague hearts so we can do that with Molotovs. And maybe try to make more if we can. Yes, we can. Do I have it? Uh, I need to get it uh, from the inventory. So I'll load up on that and then I'll see you guys in a second. Oh my bad, turns out we had a ton of Molotovs. More doesn't hurt. All right, well I took out a little uh, group over here a horde another one is coming down the hill we have a bloater down the road oh, and these guys are armored even which is uh, definitely not great but hey let's speed up a little bit uh, open your window car door please not sure why he didn't a bit late i guess we needed to build up more speed fair enough i guess but we definitely need to Come on, we definitely need to deal with this uh, before taking on an infestation and so on. I'm going to need to conserve ammo, so we'll take as many of these guys out in melee as I can. Are we close to an upgrade? Shooting, eh, decent-ish I suppose. We have another zombie coming down the hill. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> There's a way to, to grab them and I forgot what it is, but anyway. There we go. Another plague sample as well. Now I do need to take out that, uh, that infestation. It's right next door to the plague heart. I really want to take care of the plague heart as well though. We have got another horde coming in small one but still it's a they will uh, act in a concerted effort but hey they're going to the left which gives me an opening I think take some of them out one by one all right decent one out of four take this guy there's way too many zombies over here. It's annoying. All right, got some influence. A bounty is completed. All right, so we can get uh, an Echo S7 assault rifle. All 
Alright. <laughs> I didn't catch that whole story, but... Oh crap, is there... There is a freak... Over here, and I don't know where he is. But that is definitely no bueno. Alright, so there's two screamers and one of those guys. I don't see him. Screamer has to be inside. Oh man, this sucks. Oh, there he is. Shit. Now, I put a silencer on this pistol, which comes in really useful here. <laughs> oh, and we... We... Oh. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. An advanced suppressor. That is very interesting. And that comes at the perfect time even <laughs> oh man I cannot be happier about that all right 50 bullets and we have an advanced assault rifle with silencer and everything I would love to take a peek in there and take out the screamer if he pops up his head oh come on all right that is that definitely drew the attention of some other zombies. Uh, I need to change that to single shot, definitely. Take out that guy. Alright, he's attacking the plate hard, we need to go for this. Alright, keep going. Oh, come on, we need to take that out. Oh, crap. That is a feral. Oh, god damn it. Fucking thing. Oh, god, there we go. Uh, I, need to, I need to heal up here. Oh, man, that is such good news. That creates a clearing. Oh. Alright, how about don't do that? That took a lot of ammo, but man, am I happy I found this weapon. And after this, I really need to go over to to uh, the trader to pick up the SMG and the other assault rifle. Ah, uh, X is the one. There we go. Perfect. I think that one bounty was bugged, though, because we needed to grapple and do do basically what I just did, and we didn't really do that, and we still managed to, to get it, so I guess that's a little bit weird. Um, Alright, man, this is perfect. We have another level 3 infestation over here that we need to deal with in the future, but this is great. And this is a withering infestation, so this one belonged to the play card that we just destroyed. All right, let's take let's take this apart. We get some food. Definitely get the rifle. This comes. Oh man, this is great. This comes at the perfect time. Uh, we'll leave that. We'll definitely grab the fuel bomb and the lathe chisel. I don't really care about that. Um, I might as well search everything while we're here, though. Box of seeds, perfect. I'll uh, I'll be happy to take that. Box of seeds, of course, great for the farm upgrades and so on. But in general, you cannot uh, have too much of anything in your base, so you might as well grab everything that you can, all the materials for upgrading and so on. Everything that you can grab, grab, right? All right, medical stuff, that is very good to know. All of this will be marked on the map automatically, so we don't need to keep mental track of it. And a weak bottle of painkillers. All right, then. All right, we have another uh, plague sample over here. Grab that. Can never have enough of that either. Uh, plague heart here is not awakened. We have two awakened plague hearts over here, however. There's a lot of plague hearts down here. I'm not going to be able to take care of any of those. 
for a while. I guess she's tired. <laughs> but I would look, like to take care of that level 3 infestation before we go back. And I might even be... Yeah, I want to go to the bounty broker along the way to grab my free weapons. And I will return back to base. Alright, getting pretty close. We have some zombies coming in. Alright, I think... Oh, that's not... That did not quite level my... My fighting skill. Man, take care of business, will you? Alright, I will grab my pistol, because pistol ammo is easier to find than assault rifle ammo, but there's definitely another one of those uh, freaks in here. The... Oh god, two of them. And a bloater and three screamers. That is very fucked up. I might need to do a little bit of sniping from way outside of the zone here. Alright, perfect. I took care of that one. Don't go in there, please. I want to keep scanning from outside as much as I can. That always sounds dangerously close and I don't like it. There's the one coming from the rear. Right, that one is down. Alright, so the ferals apparently drop useful steel from stuff. I'm a fan of that. Alright, and I think this just dropped down to a level 2 infestation. All right. Last mag in. Not complaining about that either. I will continue scouting for the other two screamers. I don't want to go inside if I don't have to. We'll continue working our way around the perimeter for the time being. I did not want to know what makes plague territory smell this bad. Oh, God damn it! Oh, that's another weapon. That is perfect. Crap, where the fuck is that thing? Die! Alright, that's the other screamer. I need to get... Oh, crap. Oh, that just broke my gun. Alright, let's go. Alright, well, that took care of business there. Uh, the M203 standalone, holy shit. Oh, we could do some damage of that for sure. Alright, that took out this plague infestation though. And we're almost halfway with killing non-freak zombies with headshots. That objective that we had. There is a zombie in here somewhere, but... Ah. <laughs> oh man, that sound is horrible. <laughs> is that thick freaking no room. bag emptying. Disgusting. Well, I don't have much space. Actually, I should go back to the car and dump all the things that we can. Because then I will have space to go to the trader. Let's go. Local talent still need your help. Come on. Ah, they wanted food, right? I think we might want to help out with that as well. We need to go in a hurry. Um, 
we'll stockpile this, we'll stockpile that, stockpile this, that, that, that. Ah, and we could fill up the thing. So then we can stockpile a few more things. Parts. I'll refuel the car. And I guess, first of all, I'll drive back and help out the people that we need to help out. Alright, dumping some things into base along the way. Oh, actually, <laughs> that's not what I was doing after all, I guess. Alright, perfect. Alright, the car has hit a few too many zombies and is starting the smoke, which is never a great sign. We are going to have to repair that pretty soon. It's making horrible noises. And I'm not a fan. Alright, let's talk to Ashley. We're happy to share. See you again real soon. Well hey you, come take a load off. And now providing roadside assistance, a roadside command. Our morale is empowered. They have new items for trade. And what does that do? Morale level effects. All right, that's all nice. Uh, active effects. Weapon repair available because of the base facilities and outpost. Where did we see that? There's like the community and other things. There was a place where I could see the effect of the community over here, I guess. Yeah, the newcomers provide plus 100 influence a day. Uh, we have prestige, only 4,000. We're doing really well on all the materials. We're losing very little every day. So as a result, uh, we don't need to go on too many scavenging runs. But I don't remember what all of these people have. Mechanics, all right, yeah, we don't really need that. Uh, medicine, we have that as well. Cafe, shooting, fighting, etc. Well, we'll keep the roadside assistance, I guess, and then that will be fine. Well, they also have things to trade, right? So maybe we should have a look at their trading options just as well. Oh, hey there. Uh, trade with Enclave. What, what do you have? Okay. Remote box yes. mine. All right. Medicine textbook. That is useful. And we have a lot of influence, so we might want to buy that. We can upgrade someone's skill with that, or we can give someone that skill. Uh, six influence for 40 cal rounds. I think we're okay. Now, as for me, our shooting has upgraded. We can do assault or weapon handling. Clear jammed firearms and improve durability or significantly reduce the recoil, kick attack, unlock while aiming. We'll go with assault. All right. That is really nice because now when we aim, we press space, we can kick zombies back. And that knocks them to the ground. So that is really nice. It's someone I like. All right. So now we have two allies on the map. One enemy with two people in there we're not going to deal with them quite yet but we will in the future now let's drive back to base and let's uh, repair our vehicle all right now we're back in base i'm going to upgrade infirmary to level two it doesn't say anything about an upkeep but increases the benefit of surgery and pathology skills on recovery actions also provides an additional treatment bed and we can remove injuries craft painkillers so that is definitely worthwhile uh, that means we are running low on materials, and we should scavenge some if we can. As for ammo, actually, let me have a look. 5.56 five, rounds. Very nice. I don't want to Let's take everything, but kiddos. this has an advanced magazine, like a box or drum magazine. So we can go up to 50. So this is all the ammo that we have for this gun right about now. I don't want to use all of it, but it is super useful in a pinch. All right, we're going over here. And of course, I picked up a toolkit so we can repair the vehicle. There we go. That helped. And then we're going to put some extra fuel into the trunk for when we need it. 
And we're going to keep Derek with us because, um, well, yeah. I really like having some backup. Someone to keep some zombies off my back or just distract them long enough for me to gun them down is always good. Right, can we follow this road? Yeah, I think we can and we should. So straight a shot to our objective here. That's better than going for the countryside. Oh, indeed. We got another freak that came from that infestation, but that infestation is going to wither out soonish. Oh, hold up. Oh crap! Nope. Get back in. Get back in. Get back in. Get back in. Thank you. Too many zombies coming for that particular thing. No bueno. There's a lot of them here as well, but... We can shake them off. Alright, let's talk to Cash Beaumont here. Might we chat for a bit? I expect let's talk about bounties. Claim bounty. Claim bounty. And, of course, we can take some other ones as well. So, and we can buy some, even. Or did we not just get those things? Oh, yes, we did. A restored Echo S7 Assault Rifle. Restored Echo S4 SMG. We did, and now we can buy other ones as well. So that is actually really quite cool. Um, what else can we do? Kill two bloaters with shotguns. I don't think we have a shotgun, but we could get one. Kill one juggernaut with rifles. Uh, I think we should be able to manage that. Assault rifle also counts. And we'll go ahead and grab that one. Anything to get my hands on more guns is welcome. Now, as for... Uh, we have a... Yeah, as for what else to do, we have an unfinished house nearby. That just popped out really quick. I didn't plan this, but I just saw it. And I think that is definitely something to go ahead and grab before getting out of here since we are running low also fuel uh, is not too great but we're not losing fuel a day we are losing materials every day ammo is looking really really good infirmary uh it's uh, yeah we can go for quite some more time food as well we if we can find food and medicine we will have to take it luckily the plague heart that we just cleared out had food had medicine so if we take that with us on the way back, I think we will have had a very, very productive day. All right, can we walk down here? Yes, we can indeed. Perfect. So these guys actually like us. Don't fuck it up. Nothing here we can't handle. Yeah, I'm laughing on the inside. Alright, a nearby Plague Heart. If we kill too many zombies here, that Plague Heart is going to go active. So we don't want to do that. Again. We'll grab some fuel. We'll search this place. There, uh, there are six containers in this building that we need to take care of. Looks like we just got tired as well. This might be nice, alright. We found some building materials. Unfortunately, we cannot pawn this off to Derek and take two. That would have been the realistic thing to do, but I guess that was a bit too overpowered and the developers didn't quite like that idea, I suppose. So we have to take care of this ourselves. Or we should have driven the car over here to load it up better. But... Yeah, let's crouch here because we've got some zombies coming in. Crap. Fucking zombie. That is one. <laughs> one we didn't really want to kill in this particular case because I don't want to wake up any more plague hearts. That is definitely <laughs> not good. There are a lot of infestations that will get sent out. There's a horde over there and it is coming this way. Signal antenna. Oh, very nice. I am grabbing that for sure. That is going to allow us another outpost if we install it in the... Ooh, toolkit, great. 
scrap the circuitry, great, and lumber. We need to keep that in mind, but we need to get out of this building before that horde shows up. We need to sneak our way back up this hillside. <laughs> okay, I think we can uh, make a run for it here. Of course, we're very close. We might be able to sneak in for that second pack of materials because this is just a very short run. And it is very tempting. Dump this, dump that. Dump this, dump that. Dump that for sure because it is heavy as hell. Uh, might as well drop some circuitry. The other stuff is light. All right, let's go back in for that last bit of uh, materials, actually. I am much more concerned with that. And also, of course, uh, we need to keep in mind that we need to conserve fuel. I don't see that horde anymore. We have a bloater over here. We're going to let that one go. Looks like nobody else is home. So with a play card around, that won't last. I right, need to keep sneaking. There we go. We did not just trigger a zombie, I think. It sounded for a second like I did. But nothing is coming after me. So we're in the clear. Good news. All right, now let's go back the way we came and clear out the food and the medicine from that uh, supermarket that we went through. All right. Made it back. We antagonized some zombies. So we need to take care of that in the nearby future. But let us actually make some space here. Take out the least heavy things. Might as well take another gun. We need to make space for those rucksacks. All right, that stuff. is food. I need a break. You will get a break in just about a second. Let's just get the medicine and then we will be fully stocked on supplies. We will have taken out a plague heart, which is just absolutely great. Much better than what I could have hoped for at the start. There we go. Yeah, the start of this run through, I did not know we were going to do so well. It definitely wasn't in the plans. I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do, but I have to say, I'm quite pleased. Alrighty then. Let's carry this all back to the base, throw it inside, and then we'll put an end to this video for the day, I think. Can only go downhill from here. <laughs> Alright. Let's park it in the parking spot and then let's deposit. Deposit, deposit, deposit. All of that. Actually, I didn't need to deposit all of that, but I guess uh, they went ahead and did it anyway. Yes. Derek over here is going to get dismissed. I'm going to go inside the base. Look at that. All very good. We have a juggernaut outside the base. Derek is quite injured. Connie and Weber are slowly getting back up. So is William, I think. 93 out of 96. That is excellent. 96 out of 112. She needs some more time to recover. This guy is getting closer and closer. He can improve his shooting. Uh, Sharpshooting. Improved steadiness, bullet penetration and dismemberment. Yes, please. That fits him, I think. All right, so let's see if there's anyone else that we could have. Yeah, Derek here, improved in shooting, sharpshooting or weapon handling. We will definitely go with sharpshooting as well. His medicine skill could be upgraded. All right, so actually let's take control of him. Justice will just have to uh, stay put for a little while because I did put that medicine book in in here in the base and um, do we have a rifle no we're going to give this guy a rifle as well since he now has sharpshooting so uh, what rifle do we want to do a prepper's rifle with a handmade suppressor 
22 cal rounds is not that great. Maybe we should we should give him the assault rifle. I think he'll do quite well with that. And then as for the book, where is the book? Uh, it's not there. It's going to be in this global list of things for sure somewhere. We'll go ahead and grab that. We are going to use it. Always nice to learn something new. And that takes us to our max level, which is going to be either surgery or pathology. So unlock injury, recovery, actions at infirmaries, or reduce infection at infirmaries, collect more plague samples, and craft a cure more efficiently. Oh, that is uh, a difficult choice, actually, because this keeps our people in fighting or in fighting shape, and that is a consistent problem. So far, we have done quite well with keeping our um, infection rates low. However, so I think we're going to go with surgery. There we go. And also, now that we have this uh, level 2 infirmary, let's see what else we can do. We can upgrade this to infirmary 3. We need 10 cases of chemicals and 13 materials. Um, also adds another treatment bed. With pharmacology skills, we can make even stronger painkillers to restore lost health. It increases the benefit of surgery and pathology skills on recovery actions. All right, now that is too expensive. I'm not going to want to do that. As for medical help, uh, infection therapy, treat infection, active character, eliminates partial infection from the active character, but will not cure full bone blood plague. Uh, primary care, let those with medical knowledge use our resources to keep us in the best shape possible, will improve medical skills. Uh, knowledge of surgery, plus 35 max health, minus 35% injury chance. Boost injury and trauma recovery. 125% injury and trauma recovery for one hour for free medicine. Ah, that is really good. I think we're going to go ahead and do that. Yeah, that is the way to go. Perfect. Uh, there's not much else we can do here. We could replant this to medicinal herbs. That is kind of cool. Fill this up. Don't know how long it lasts, but hey, why not? We can boost the yield. For an hour and a half at the cost of one box seeds well, yes definitely and for the yeah we have power here we oh, that's the problem like we could get one max outpost uh right now this yeah this is actually quite what we have is a bug generator it needs to be worked for us to have power so it doesn't really do us anything so we're going to uninstall that and we're going to install the signal antenna and that is going to give us another outpost. And then with that, we should get power or running water up, I think. Probably power. And yeah, that is a lot for this episode. I think it's about time we put a cut in here. But well, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and a comment below if you enjoyed this content and wish to see more. And I'll see you guys for whatever video I do next.